Hi guys, Lenny here. Welcome back to another Remnant 2 Weapons Guide video. In this one, we are in Yaasha, and we're going over all the variations of the final boss, who requires you to play four different times to get four weapons and one relic. At the same time, we will pick up the Bolt Driver, as it is located just before the Ravager boss. So in total, we will be getting the Bolt Driver, Ravager's Judgment, Merciless, the Red Doe Staff, and the Rebellion Spear. To start, you will need to roll Yaesha and start at the Forbidden Grove. And we're going to talk to the guy at the very start of the grove as well, as we will need him later. Next, simply follow the exclamations all the way to the very end of the area where you need to get the Water Harp. This is just outside of the final boss. This roll will require you to reach the Harp, and then you'll have to go through the Faithless Thicket, then another dungeon, and then back to the thicket, and then you'll be able to return to the Forbidden Grove or the Lost Temple for the final time, where you can then activate the Water Harp, and we're going to play a secret song on it. So if you've activated the Harp, we're going to play a song. The combination for it is 1402530. So on row 1, activate peg 1. On row 2, activate peg 4. We're going to leave row 3 blank. On row 4, we're going to activate peg 2. Row 5 is peg 5. Row 6 is also blank. Row 7 is peg 3. And row 8 is blank. Now simply pull the lever, listen to the song, and you will get rewarded with your secret weapon. Next, activate the bridge and enter the Ravager's Lair, and inside we will be faced with four different options. Those options are to kill the Ravager, then kill the Doe, kill the Ravager and not kill the Doe, kill the Doe or heal the Doe, so those are all the four options. But we only need to do three of them for the weapons. First, let's heal the Doe, and doing this will result in the Ravager attacking you, and then he will drop an item that allows you to craft the Red Doe Staff. If you choose this option, return to the guy at the start of the Forbidden Grove to get rewarded with the Rebellion Spear as well. So this option will get you two weapons. Reroll the game and you'll have to make your way all the way back to the Ravager. It should take you around 30 minutes if you just run. This time we're going to kill the Ravager and then also make sure that you kill the Doe. Don't let the Ravager kill the Doe, you have to shoot the Doe yourself. If you do this, then you will get an item that will allow you to craft the Ravager's Judgment. Finally, head back to the Ravager for a third time, and this time we are going to kill the Ravager, but make sure that we keep the Doe alive, and this will give you an item that will allow you to craft Merciless. If you want, you can also return for a fourth time and simply kill the Doe, and you will get the Ravager's Mark, but it's not a weapon, so I didn't do it for the video. So guys, that is it for this one, how to get the five more weapons all related to the Ravager in Yaesha, or the Water Harp. And this one will require at least three full runs of your Asher campaign, but you can run through them to avoid most enemies to make it go quicker. If you want to see more guides, I have another Yasha video coming out soon, and then I think I've only got seven more weapons to find. So like and subscribe to see those, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.